Horrible living conditions at a KCK apartment complex have gotten the health department's attention. And now tenants may be left out in the cold over the holidays. One of them reached out to KCTV5's Call for Action team. Gina Bullard explains. Hot water is tight and out of the way and it's still running. Leaks. My bathtub running for months. We had water leaking in the ceiling in the kitchen. Mice. I just heard one in my cabinet uh, last night eating through my food. No heat. It's extremely cold in here, especially at nighttime. And we can't forget about the mold. Living room wall, the bedroom wall, the kitchen wall, the bathroom wall. This is just a short list of issues tenants are dealing with at West Height Village Apartments in KCK. It's like it's rigged. Anitria Bell and Marguerite Espinoza are fed up. They both pay around $600 a month. Both of them currently have no heat, and they haven't for almost a year. It's still not working. A year yeah. later. A year later. So me and my kids have been sitting up in here freezing. Anitria uses this small space heater to try to warm up her two bedroom. If she plugs in another one, she trips the breaker. Marguerite uses her oven to heat her apartment. Added bonus, her burners turn on randomly and get hot. Marguerite was living at West Hype for a month when she found out she was pregnant with her now two-month-old son, Dayton. I was nine months pregnant and we didn't have hot water. After complaining for months about all the issues, especially mold, the complex finally let her change units, only to find more of the same. These ladies say when maintenance actually shows up, they either fix things the wrong way, okay. like just painting over mold, or they mark the work order as complete without actually doing the work. But now these families have a bigger problem, finding a new place to live and fast. No one is contacting us to let us know anything. On October 30th, the unified government of Wyandotte County stepped in, posting orange signs ordering tenants to move out by December 2nd if repairs weren't made and an invoice wasn't paid by the management company, Celtic Property Management. Those signs have since been ripped down by maintenance, but this sign is still up. We wanted to find out what was going on, so we reached out to Celtic Property Management. When I called, they told me no comment, even though they didn't know why I was calling. So we decided to stop by. Just wondering if we can talk to somebody about the West Heights apartment complex. There's no one here to talk to. When owner Todd Laddish came down, here's what happened. I'm going to ask you to leave, okay? Okay. We've called 911. I've talked to the city. We know what's going on. Okay. Do you have any comment about these people living in deplorable Go conditions? Go ahead. Do nope. they have to be out by December 2nd? I said 2nd? no. Okay. I said no. You don't have to push me. You got to go. Yeah. You don't, you don't to need to touch us. After a slew of calls and emails to the unified government, we found out the December 2nd order still stands. One woman we spoke with said tenants are caught in the middle of a management debacle. They couldn't give us more details than that. As for these ladies, they have no idea what they're going to do come December 2nd. I cry at nighttime, but I don't cry in front of my children. Because, I mean, it hurts. Marguerite has a felony and isn't working. She and her boyfriend are trying to save up money. A lot of people don't really like felons living in their apartments. Anitria says money is tight and she can't even find an apartment complex she can afford with any vacancies. It's the holidays. My birthday is next month on Christmas. And have to move, have to be out. Don't know where we gonna go. The unified government admits this is not a good spot for these tenants to be in, but says unfortunately, it's not uncommon. Gina Bullard, KCTV5 News.